What is up, love gang? It is your girl, Navea Love. I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the love gang. read the title you know that i am basically venting and i want to talk a little bit more about insecurities and comparison so last night i had a conversation with my dad we were having a conversation about school and he was telling me you know in order to be something in life you have to go to school if you want to learn how to count money you have to go to school you have to go to school you have to go to school and i was just telling him you know a lot of i know a lot of successful people that didn't go to school but they still turned out to be successful they still know how to count money and do all of these things he basically you know disagreed and said that you have to go to school he started recommending some things during the process of us talking and i remember him saying well you can go to school to be a doctor i'm like well i don't want to be a doctor well you can go to school to be a nurse I don't want to be a nurse. You can go to school to be a lawyer. I don't want to be a lawyer. I feel like it hurt the most because these are all the things that he wants me to do, you know, to live up to his expectations. Which I feel like it's unfair. Not once that he asked me, you know, are you even working towards anything? Like, what are you doing with your life? Like, what, what are you? What are you? What do you want to be? in life what are your goals like he never once asked me that i feel like all my life i've been trying to please him if that makes sense i've been trying to be good enough for him i'm gonna do a story time on my relationship with him but it's not really a good relationship i just know that i've always been trying to be the best I can be to get his love, to get him to accept me, to get him to love me. When he said that to me, it it instantly started to make me feel like, what am I doing with my life? Like, I know I'm young, I'm only 26, but I feel like so much time was wasted. I feel like I wish I had my mom, you know, to teach me certain things earlier on so that way I would have been had money in the bank account, I would have been had a nice job, I would have been went to college, finished school or whatever. Or the same with my dad, I wish he was in my life to teach me more, to teach me about boys, to teach me about business. I didn't have that. And then it's like now I have to figure everything out on my own. I have literally have been with my mom my entire life. Like this is my first time actually being completely on my own without my mom, without my dad. So now I have to get up and figure out, you know, how to make money, how to put food on the table, how to make sure my kids are taken care of and I'm still taken care of. Like I'm literally doing every single thing on my own now i'm not used to that i never really understood the whole thing of you know getting up and working towards something i believe i planted many many seeds but they never grew out into a harvest because i always gave up on those seeds and pushed them behind me i've became the person that start something and don't finish it nobody taught me in order to be successful you have to continue to keep working towards that certain thing without giving up on it or without stopping now i'm here juggling in a bunch of different things trying to see which one gonna pop and then none of them pop so i decide to give up and move on and now i'm sitting here with nothing and i'm basically having to start over again to try and reach that certain goal and it's really really overwhelming and when he told me that it made me want to rush things i know now in life that everybody have steps to take in order to reach a goal and everybody's steps are different from everybody else's he made me basically want to skip steps and to just hurry up and get to where i want to be just to make him feel happy with me to make him accept me. I have these voice memos that I use to help me to encourage myself and to help me change my thinking and to help me be nicer to myself because I am extremely hard on myself. I beat myself up. I don't show myself the love that I deserve. 
So I try to make a change by doing those voice recordings. And I just want to share with you guys something that I did put in my notes. It says, you're investing way too much time in other people. Where is that getting you? Nowhere, right? Keep your eyes on the prize. The process is poisoned the moment you take your eyes off of what you're aiming for in life. Everybody takes steps and you are in the middle of yours. Don't ruin the process. You might not be where you want to be, but you're not where you used to be. Every day you've been working towards something. You see people you think that are winning and instantly you want to skip the steps. Don't rush something and cry when it all comes falling down. When you get up and work out, there's a step in the seed song. When you create your content and post it, there's a step in the seed song. When you promote your business, there's a step in the seed song. That's process that needs to be done in order to see a change in your weight or become monetized and popular on YouTube or to have a successful business. 125 subscribers, one sale, 11 views, one pound loss, celebrate it. What if it was still zero subscribers, zero sales, one pound gain or 10 pounds gain? That would suck, right? Be thankful for what you have. Don't let Satan make you focus on the things that you don't have. Remember Adam and Eve. Now, when I said remember Adam and Eve, I thought about the time where in the Bible, Adam and Eve were giving the options to eat from any tree in the garden except one. Satan came and basically had them focusing on that one tree that they couldn't have. And if you look at it in our perspective, God gives us all these things and yet we focus on the one thing that we don't have. I also said, stop being a people pleaser. Don't be afraid to say no. You're going to find that others are not going to hesitate when it comes to something you do that they don't agree with. If you don't want to be touched, say that. If you don't want to talk, say that. You don't want company, say that. You can't be so concerned about how others feel. Your feelings are valid. Another thing, stop worrying about what other people may think or feel about you. That is their problem, not yours. We are not here to please anybody. People are going to talk until you die. They talked about Jesus. Was he bothered? No. Focus on what you can control. Get in your bag. Put out that music. Lose that weight. Drop that content. Promote your business. Save money. Budget. Stop investing in temporary things. Get confident. Change your wardrobe. Better your hygiene. Get waxes, perfumes, body washes, scrubs. Take more showers. Take more bubble baths. Get into skincare. Do the same for your children. Stay off social media if you have to. Now, I just want to go over certain things that I said in here. The process is poison the moment you take your eyes off of what you've been aiming for in life. Like, we see people winning. We see people farther ahead in life. But we don't see the steps and everything that it took for them to get to where they are. Like, we don't get to see the hard work. We just see the harvest. When you don't have anything, basically, and you're trying to work from the bottom up, it can be overwhelming and it can poison the whole process. Like, what's the point? I'm not getting anywhere. Nothing is happening. The process is slow. Like, you get discouraged. That's a thing for me. I constantly find people successful in their businesses multiple orders back to back like i just started my business i don't have not one sale yet y'all but i'm trying to stay positive and i'm still trying to keep at it and still trying to promote and still trying to do everything i can to get to where i need to be again this is like my first time doing something like this this is my first time like stepping out and trying to start a business stepping out and trying to create content and post it on youtube your girl want to just be popping overnight but that's not how it works. I'm literally working from the ground up. It can get overwhelming. So that is why I said what I said in that passage. Every day you've been working towards something, which is true. Every day I try to remove dairy out of my diet, trying to eat less fried foods, junk food, trying to cook more, healthier options, trying to get on my bike and work out more, trying to sing more, trying to create more content and post it. Those are the small steps that I need in order to get to where I want to get. I just have to remain consistent no matter what it looks like right now, no matter what it feels like right now. And I feel like that's another thing 
most of us nowadays especially my generation we are so focused on how we feel instead of being disciplined and just getting up and doing it anyways and that's another thing that you know i want to change in the year of 2022 i want to be more disciplined it's a lot of stuff i don't feel like doing and if i don't do it if i don't feel like doing it i'm not gonna do it and that's not the type of mindset that i should have because i'm not gonna get anywhere like that another thing i said was you know wanting to rush the steps you see everybody else doing whatever they're doing and now you're ready to go ahead and do it like and then it's just like what's the point i'm literally rushing to get somewhere instead of taking this moment to learn in my journey to understand certain things so that you know when i do get to where i'm supposed to be i'm able to explain it better you know to my kids that's wanting to do something in life or to somebody that looks up to me i can explain it better you know in each step i took in order to make it to success i don't want to rush the process when you rush something it's most likely to end fast i want wealth and not rich i feel like when you're rich it could crash down any moment but with wealth that's something that will follow you in the long run that's passed on to generations and generations and generations another thing i tried to do was you know with 125 subscribers the 11 views and things like that i'm trying to show myself to just be thankful for that because at the end of the day it could be nothing zero subscribers still trying to get to one subscriber like i should be celebrating that and not making it seem like it's a bad thing because it's not i mean it's small but i need to be celebrating those small steps another thing for me that i struggle with is being a people pleaser <laughs> I think I've said this in one of my videos before about being a people pleaser. I feel like it has a lot to do with my dad, me wanting to please my dad. It washed over to other people. I be wanting to please other people, satisfy other people. I care about everybody else's needs, wants, and sometimes it's just like fuck myself. Like I don't I don't mean to cuss or whatever, excuse my language, but that's what it's like. Like forget forget how I feel. It's about how they feel type thing. When I do certain things that people might not like, they're gonna tell me they don't like it. Like they're gonna speak up and say what it is that they don't like or what they're not feeling or what I need to stop doing or whatever. They're gonna protect their boundaries. I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I don't want nobody to be mad at me. Jesus wasn't like that. He didn't care. <laughs> Like, let's be real. He didn't care about what anybody had to say about him. And that's how I want to be. When I say, oh, well, you don't want to be touched, say that, da, 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 da. Instead of us being up front, like, say a person keep calling, like, they blowing your phone up and you don't want to answer, so you ignore it. Why not just say, hey, I don't want to talk. I'm not answering my phone. I'll talk to you another time or whatever. Just say how you feel and then just leave it at that. Now, if they choose to continue to still call after you just tell them, I ain't trying to talk, then, I mean, it is what it is. But most likely, they're going to stop calling you after you tell them, hey, I don't want to talk. I'm not in the mood to talk. Can we talk another time? Like, for me, I'll still answer my phone anyways, knowing that I don't want to talk or just not answer the phone sometimes. It depends on how I feel. Or sometimes I just won't answer the phone. And I don't tell them why I'm not answering the phone. Like, I just want to be more upfront or say that, you know, somebody's touching me or trying to hug me and stuff. If I don't want to be hugged, no. I don't know how to say that. Instead of having to force a hug that I really don't want to give. I don't know if I'm making sense. Hopefully I am. I feel like I'm really, really, really concerned about how everybody else feels instead of my feelings. And I'm trying to teach myself that you know my feelings are valid i find myself struggling with always worried about what somebody else might be thinking when i say something or do something i can just hear myself telling them oh they probably thinking this they probably thinking that who cares what they're thinking <laughs> like oh well they're thinking that oh well that has nothing to do with me i can care less i don't know nothing about it i'll probably never know so what's the point of stressing myself out to even care about what they might be thinking i just need to start focusing on things that i can control 
not things that I can't control. I can't control somebody talking about me or spreading my business around or things like that. Like, I can't control that. I can only focus on and control my feelings, how I feel, how I respond to the situations, and what I can do on my end. I mentioned in my last video about how I'm always deleting my social media. I, I'm too focused on things that ain't fucking real. <laughs> like, I'm sorry because of me. But I'm focused on things that ain't real. Like on Instagram, people choose to show you whatever they want to show you. They don't show you the bad stuff. They don't show you the fact that they ain't got no money for real. Like, every, like Instagram just be for play play. And I find myself getting worked out and upset or, you know, discouraged because I'm seeing they living like this. They going here and there, they traveling. And y'all, I ain't got a chance to travel yet. So I'll be pissed, like. But no, I don't, sometimes I just, I just have to stay off social media because I'm not trying to make myself feel discouraged, but I'm trying to get on my grind, get in my bag and do what I gotta do so that I can actually live the life that I wanna live. Like everything that everybody is doing, I can do. If I wanna become a billionaire, I could become a billionaire. And I know that there's money everywhere. I just have to learn how to get it. Again, ain't nobody ever shown me how to get it. So I don't know where to start. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm trying to do all the research I can, basically, and just trying to put it all together and roll with it to see what's working for me. But if I want to be a big YouTube star, I can do that. If I want to travel the world, I could do that. Like, everything that they're doing, I could do. So, why am I about to sit up here and be on social media making myself discouraged and poisoning the process when I can go and do the same thing myself? So, that's why I just try to stay off social media. I try to stay off Instagram. I get on there, try to promote my business, and get off. Sometimes, I'll talk to a few friends to see how they're doing and get off. Because at the end of the day my life is my life their life is theirs and i'm trying to do something with my life like i said in the last video i've watched everybody live their own lives instead of getting out to live my own and in, in a year of 2022 i'm not about to do that anymore i'm not about to watch everybody live their life and not live mine like you only get one life one body and I'm trying to live it to the fullest. It makes me emotional because it's a process that I just, I'm just in a rush. Like, I'm, I just wanted to hurry up. And I just want things to hurry up and get flowing. But I'm just trying to teach myself to, you know, be patient. When the time comes, it comes. In the Bible, there's a time for everything. I'm just trying to trust God and know that when it's time for certain things to happen for me, it's going to happen. What's for me? is for me. What they got is obviously not mine because I ain't got it yet. So I'm just trying to teach myself. I'm in the right place at the right time. And what I have right now is mine and I need to be thankful for that. God knows what I want. He knows what I need and he'll provide that in due time. But I have to be grateful for what I have and stop complaining about what I don't have. And I also find myself like, always yapping and complaining to everybody else like when i'm venting i yap and complain to everybody else when i just need to just shut up in reality and keep it to myself because i'm not getting anywhere number one they're not gonna make my situation better god is so that's who i need to be talking to but i just need to just learn how to just keep everything to myself and then you know pop back out with that testimony when everything is going the way i wanted to go but what I was saying, like, in the beginning of the video about, you know, going to school, I've completed most of high school. It was just math that I sucked at, and I still suck at. But it was math that I was struggling in. It was math that I was struggling in, and I was homeschooled, so I wasn't getting, you know, the hands-on help that I needed at the time. I wasn't fast. I wasn't really a fast learner like everybody else. Like everybody else, they was good at it. They was studying, they was on top. Like 
I was one of those students that was behind and had to get extra help, you know, um, in the special classes, which is sad because I'm, I can't believe I just put myself out there right there. But I took special classes where I could get, you know, that extra help because I wasn't fast like everybody else. I had a hard time learning. I'm trying not to cry, y'all. But yeah. Um, but you know, I, I was, I had about like four credits or something like that, that I had to get in math and I had to pass two OGT tests. That's what we have in Cleveland. We had a, um, I had to pass two OGTs and I passed all the rest of them. Cause I think we have like a total of five and then I just had two that I still needed to do, which was, um, math of course, and science that I was struggling with. So um, eventually the school that I was going to, they ended up going out of business and time just been passing me by. Like I never really looked into getting back into classes. Like I attempted to, you know, try to get my GED, but for some reason I wasn't disciplined enough to keep logging on for class and doing my work and things like that. Cause I kept getting discouraged as if I'm scared of math. I know how to cost some money though, but I just find myself being really, really scared. And you know, when I try to get up on my grind and try to reach out to the people that last had my information, you know, I'm still actually waiting for them now to get in contact with me so that I can go back and try to take some classes again and try to get my high school diploma. Cause that's like the main thing I need right now. I don't have any plans on going to college. I mean, I did want to go just to see what it's about and what I'm missing, but I never really had plans on going to college. But that is one of the things also on my vision board is, you know, getting my high school diploma because that means a lot to me, you know, and I want my kids to grow up and, and be able to go get theirs and finish school. I wanna be that example for them. I don't want them to be like, oh, well, you didn't go get your diploma. Why do I need to like, I don't want them to feel like that. I want them to go hard in school. And I know that, you know, it's, I noticed that things get hard for my son. He don't understand everything in school. I just wasn't a school person. I can see that, you know, he's becoming a, one of those people that's just not a school person. I don't want him to be like that. I want him to get good grades and I want my daughter to grow up and get, get good grades and do good in school. But I'm still trying to make something of myself. I just really don't understand a lot of things right now, but I'm just trying to learn as I go. I'm trying my hardest to come into YouTube being transparent, to come into YouTube being me, nobody else, me. And I'm trying to find me and be confident in me. I know that I'm not like everybody else and I will never be like everybody else. Like even when I was staying in school, I wasn't quick to learn like everybody else. Like it took me some time to learn things. I'm not this big talker that got all the words, that know all the right words to say. I'm only going off of what I experience. I'm not this intelligent talker, this big word talker that just be making all this sense. Sometimes I have trouble expressing certain things. Sometimes people can say the things that I wish I could say or say the things that I wish I could put into words. I feel like the only time I'm capable of doing that is when I'm putting, when I'm writing my music. I'm able to put, you know, how I feel and everything into my music. I love art. I love to create. As you can see, y'all, uh, I never once, I'm missing diamonds, forgive me, <laughs> but I never once in a million years thought that I would be able to do my own nails, like create my own nails. Like there's so many things I've made and created with my hands. It's different. That's why I feel like I, I would be perfect to create content on YouTube. I love to sing, like that's my passion. I, I wanna be a famous singer one day. I wanna get married. I wanna have more children. I just wanna be successful. Yes, you guys, I probably rambled enough. I know y'all see my daughter. 
congrats in the back and knocked out y'all but no um i hope this video was interesting feel free to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video everything i do is all